Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being here, Dr. Nario. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. Okay, if you guys have been watching, you know that Dr. Nario is with Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. You can look them up online. So uh, before we turn this on, we're talking a little bit about, you know, the summer and 4th of July and different holidays, um, events where people might drink a little too much. Um, so you're telling me about an herb that is natural that can remedy this. So tell me about this. Well, Steve, as I'm, as I kind of tell you, this is the season that every, everyone's out because this is nice weather or maybe hot weather. And 4th of July just came, of course, New Year's before and upcoming events like Burning Man and Labor Day. We get a lot of patients coming in because of hangovers. And we give them, of course, our hangover drips to negate or our hangover cocktails to negate these specific issues. And one of the major issue of a hangover is nausea and vomiting, right? Or even headaches, irritability. And as one of our immediate remedies that we give to these patients, may it be oral or IV form, it's called Nux Vomica, N-U-X-V-O-M-I-C-A. And it's a homeopathic remedy and it's, it's actually an herb. And so once used in a patient, you would notice instant relief of, of these, this nausea and vomiting. So that's why it kind of struck me that, all right, it's, not, it's now time to talk about this because it's really kind of hitting people uh, hard in a good way. Hmm. It's very interesting, and, and it's great that you're talking about um, <clears throat> issues that your patients come in to see you about, and this is one of them this time of year. You know, we're, you know, going deep into the summer as we do this video, mm -hmm. um, but you said um, it could be for other people, uh, depending on their lifestyle or their personalities, and tell us a little bit about that. Right. So uh, the, the thing that I want to define first to everyone is like, what is Nux Vomica? What is it? Where it's coming from? So they could understand the, the true nature of, of the, the remedy. So it's a homeopathic remedy, as I mentioned, derived from seeds of strychnos, uh, or meaning Nux Vomica tree, which is native to India and Southeast Asia. And the seeds contain stychine and brucin, both which are toxic in their natural forms. So you don't want to take this as it is because it's poisonous. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the thing here is in, in homeopathy, there's a yeah. way that we lower these potencies down through dilution, meaning we're going to dilute that, that poisonous substance to almost nothing so that you're going to be getting the potential therapeutic benefits of that specific remedy. And this remedy is widely used for many conditions. Um, particularly those related to digestive issues, stress, and lifestyle-related ailments. So, yes, and um, I think you were, is that correct? You were asking about the personality? Is that what you were asking about? Yeah. Um, you, were, you were talking about, before we turned the video on, about certain lifestyles and matching them up with people who maybe have nausea or have these issues because of stress or their work or... Right. Um, those types of things. Right. So that's a good point that you brought up there because homeopathy. So this, this uh, remedy I always use on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be a homeopathic situation, but it's, it's also something that's used in, in a natural, just nausea and vomiting patient just coming in here and they need something. Right. So, but in homeopathy, there's what we call matching it to the personality. So this is a little kind of off uh, topic with conventional medicine, but with homeopathy, when you find this match, when you use a remedy, it works better. Um, so in, in the classical description of, of a Nux Vomica patient, um, it actually uh, would be more fitting for what we call a type A personality. And this is usually what we call the ambitious ones, the comp competitive ones, prone to stress and burnout. Uh, the yuppies, as I call them. And these are the young executives who hangs out in bars after work due to their stress and they want to release it. And when they have the stress, they are actually go into you using stimulants like mm -hmm. coffee because they have adrenal fatigue. They need a waker upper or the alcohol up or party up with the bros after work. 
and medications. Sometimes they get involved with these recreational drugs and uh, now they get addicted and sleeping anxiety pills. It's always there. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty common uh, picture that you would see these guys driven, ambitious, often overworked, and again, very irritable, and they have insomnia and headaches. So as you can see, this is your collared, uh, I guess, suited up uh, with a tie on type of guy after work. And when they go to work, they're very stressed. So if you match this up with this, um, with this picture, plus the nausea and vomiting and the hangover symptoms, then you're going to get a better result with homeopathy. So how is this herb administrated? And when, when do people use it? Do they use it? Do some people use it regularly or is it just as needed? Or how do you use it with your patients? As I said, Steve, it's something that I always uh, tell patients, hey, if you have nausea and vomiting, it'll work. And that's why even, this, even if you disregard the fact that I don't have those personalities, would it work on me? It will work because I've seen it work. I, uh, it's through um, oral doses. Of course, if you're not in the clinic, we'll give it to you orally. And um, if you're here, sometimes there, there are IV forms of that also. So that's why it's, it's something that we play around with. But one thing's for sure, who, where does it work? Let me just expound on that. Um, and as I told you that we cannot give Nux Vomica in the real seed form because it's so poisonous. So when it's poisonous, what are the effects? If you take the seed, it's going to manifest in a way that your GI tract is going to have the same symptom of having a hangover, nausea and vomiting, headaches, indigestion. So with homeopathy, if you just basically by you diluting that, you're just getting the benefits and you're not going to get the toxic effects of the medicine. So we give it to patients who has a hangover. So how we describe that, you have nausea and vomiting after excessive eating or drinking, indigestion from food, alcohol, and stimulants, and even constipation when you feel that your bowels are not being emptied out properly. When you're drunk, you're always having sleep disturbances. You think that it's going to help you sleep, but at the end or the long run of things, you're going to have insomnia, restless sleep. You can't even go back to bed when you wake up. And the massive headaches of hangovers, like tension headaches and migraines, worse with light or noise or even movement, and very sensitive and very irritable. Even external stimulus like light, noise, you just can't stand it. So these are the patients that uh, we actually use this in. And again, as I mentioned to you, oral and IV form are there. I know that... Um... Yeah, a lot. It's really popular uh, in different places where people have hangovers and they have maybe a bachelor party or a bachelorette party. And the next day or the day before, they get all ready with a cocktail, mm -hmm. no pun intended. <laughs> the, the cocktail is mostly to hydrate, right? right. So you're going to hydrate them. But this is something that you would put in that hydration cocktail, right? So that is correct. That, Steve, it's not only uh, Nux Vomica by itself. As I mentioned to you, it's a protocol. So we, along with this therapy, we have, of course, our vitamins, um, usually called the Myers cocktail, again, without the alcohol. And then also we get proper amount of hydration uh, for sure, because these, these people are so drunk, they're probably puking and peeing the whole night. And we also have something for inflammation to lower down the inflammation of like the headaches and also the, the, the gut that's very inflamed and also something to calm the gut down. Uh, we give those all through IV. So it's a, it's a slew of, of remedies all in one. But this one is a big player. We always make sure that if somebody's having the same complaint of having hangovers, this should be in your protocol. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I thought, I mean, I think a lot of these places... You know, they have these places like in Las Vegas where, and it's mainly just a saline solution. They're just hydrating you, which will help. Right. But you said you even do a Myers cocktail. That's vitamins well, along with the saline. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're giving people a couple, a couple IVs, right? Right, right. And you have to understand that, see, when you're drunk like that, you're talking about this. These are not people who just got drunk with like two bottles of beer. We're talking about zombie crawls, people jumping from one bar to another. So these are just very nutrient depleting activities.
you're going to not only be losing Bs, specifically B1, when alcohol is involved, you're losing Cs, magnesium, zinc, um, even B6, um, B5, uh, B12, folic acid, vitamin C. All of these needed to be put back in the system to get it stabilized. So uh, that's why nutrients and hydration is always part of a good hangover protocol. Okay, so um, if people wanted to do this, um, they would talk to their physician, but not just every physician is going to give this herb, right? If they wanted to plan for this, or you said you can take it orally. Mm -hmm. um, how do you do that with your patients? I know you have a site where you send them and you kind of write out a prescription. They don't, it's not needed. They can buy these. I'm assuming that you can buy this like over the counter, like a, like an herb supplement, right? That's correct, Steve. It's it's available out there in health food stores. Of course, you want to get a good quality one, and but in reality, it's really an emergency drug. Hey, go to the health food store, get this. When the clinic's closed, we have to get ready for these types of instructions. And uh, what unfortunately for the IV version, of course, it cannot be done or in the injectable form cannot be done at home. It has to be in a professional or a doctor's office. But yes, right, it's accessible. Right. Um, out there. So that's why I was telling everybody at the beginning of this talk, it's not only for hangover, nausea and vomiting, try it in every type of nausea and vomiting and you're going to hit the mark. Wow. Okay. And I mean, it hurts like, I mean, it, it sounds like it wouldn't hurt to have some on hand. I mean, you could go to the, you know, health food store and buy this herb. Yes. And uh, have it on hand, you know, just in case you're experiencing vomiting, diarrhea, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And the food poisoning, I see that a lot. Uh, we get a lot of uh, even pregnant, uh, uh, first months of pregnancies. So I do have patients who kind of matches up with this. And again, homeopathy, it cannot be harmful during pregnancy. So again, I'm not promoting that you guys do that, but studies had shown that it's not something that's going to affect. But as the doctors, we usually kind of advise our patients that way um, always to make sure that they have informed consent. So ask your doctors about using homeopathic drugs before or remedies before jumping into them. Wow. Okay. Well, is there anything else that we need to know about this herb before I let you go? Well, again, this is just something that I have in my toolbox as part of my emergency ones. I have a lot of natural remedies in my toolbox and this is one of them and i think i spoke about arnica last time so as we move along i'm going to tell you how you can use homeopathy in a fast way without even like blinking and uh, these are just quick handy natural remedies with lower side effects and very easy usability yeah and, and you you've you've seen that they're it's effective right mm -hmm. very effective wow that's awesome all right. Well, uh, Dr. Nario, as always, thanks for being with us. Well, Steve, thank you for having me again. As we all know that our knowledge is your power to better health. And thank you for letting me provide you with edge on longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.